Sans Bidet itself, historically, um, as a, a brewery to root beer, um, is inspired by the Belgian Creek beer. So ultimately, what we have here is a, uh, a blonde, barrel-aged, lambic-inspired beer uh, with cherries. Now that's something that we've made uh, several years in a row. When we make that, we call that Sans Bidet. I think everybody knows the name Sans Bidet is French for without a paddle. Uh, get it, a little tongue in cheek. It's a creek beer, but without a paddle. Um, this is our reserve Sans Bidet. So not only was this beer selected um, for blending in a goose style blend of having, you know, three year beer, two year beer, and one year beer. We also looked across all of our blonde barrel aged stocks. So uh, this has um, some of our trained beer soul stock in it, as well as some of our um, standard um, sour blonde beer that we make. So barrel selected for age, flavor, and uh, to be part of an overall blend. Uh, the beer was then treated with uh, Balaton and Montmorency cherries from Michigan, and then so freeze-dried Montmorency cherries from California here. So really good floral cherry notes. Um, so a lot of uh, cherry blossom and then big meaty red uh, fruit aromatics um, uh, as well as funk. So this is a, you know, this is a true sour beer. So um, it's got a lot of Britannomyces. And so this is bottle conditioned using a Lampicus yeast strain. So a lot of funk, but not too much to cover up the fruit. It's got a good acidity, um, really full body for a sour beer. Uh, one other thing that, that this beer has is a little bit higher ABV than a lot of our standard um, sour barrel aged beers. So this is coming in at about 10.1%, uh, um, probably going into bottle about 9.9% and then getting a little bit from bottle conditioning. Uh, like any of our sour beer and sour beer in general, it, it goes really well with food. So. I know I may sound like a broken record, but I always like to picture uh, myself with uh, charcuterie and cheeses and that, and that kind of sort. And, and the reason why um, is that there's there's a lot of fat content, uh, both in um, dried uh, meats and also in cheeses, right? So uh, all of that fattiness uh, really gets cut really, really well by acid. And I think it makes for, a, for a, a, a nice drinking experience. I think the other thing to think about with this beer um, is that is the the alcohol it carries? So coming in at ten percent, you know, sometimes with food, uh, it, it extends the drinkability of the beer. If you sit and and knock back this bottle by yourself, you're definitely going to feel it. But if you have a little bit of food, not only will it slow you down, um, but it'll also fill you up a little bit and, and help knock back some of the alcohol effects. Mm -hmm.